Hello everyone, welcome back to the Burgundians campaign. My name is Ben Pope and today we are going to do something kind of drastic and that is we're going to declare war on our neighbors that own Gotiskanza. They're called the Rugians and they have... Uh, the game started with me having uh, military access and non-aggression with them. So it's been like 11 turns. I believe. Let's look at this button here, stats, according to turn 11. So that's kind of, I think, that counts as far away enough. I think the basic first rule was like six turns. Uh, if you're six turns or earlier, that you break a um, declare war on somebody that you just got, you know, a peaceful treaty with. Uh, then it's it's something that affects everybody everybody's diplomatic views towards you, but never mind that. Our um, only other option was to go for the desolate land there, uh, or get you know get mad at some of our friendlier neighbors, uh, which everybody is sort of friendly and improving except for the Longobards. So we're gonna go and take out the Rugians. This will get us the whole region of Gotiskadza. So we're gonna be a bit of a jerk. We're gonna be a bit of a bit of a bastard, really. Um, I'm gonna recruit more units here. Uh, looks like I have hmm, maybe a couple of more spears. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Since we can't get swords yet. And these guys are getting a couple more spears. And I believe... This is gonna get us better javelin men. It's gonna be barb skirmishers. And... Mounted brigands. I don't think we have any mounted brigands. Germanic hunters too. I don't think I have any hunters. Let's see. Hunters? No, just slingers, hurlers. Scattershot hurlers. Which are good. Um, so I'm gonna take both my forces there, obviously. Let's, let's see, we're making 1700. We're gonna lose, we're gonna lose some, um, some money for uh, declaring war on these guys. But I just wanna go in there with both armies and, um, be on the lookout. They're are likely to have some forces of, of their own and I can't see them but that's that's okay we're gonna go in sort of blindfolded and hopefully end up being the superior force on the day to expand our growing little country soon to be an empire we hope to conquer as much as possible my people can only dream of wealth like yours can you not spare uh, some no, I, how about you cancel that money payment? Maybe if you want military access without asking any money for me. That's what I thought. I knew you were just after the money. There's a mission issued. A construct a building for our religion. Alright. Um, yes. Let's see how far we can ooh, upgrade these guys. It will make them... Um, actually, I don't know how much it will make them. Barb's commissioners, they're right now 255. If I upgrade, it costs 350. <laughs> That's quite a jump, my friend. That's okay. We're in for the win here. The barb javelin men are pretty vicious. So we are going to force march with this guy and uh, oh crap it's winter alright so how can we go about it without yeah let's go out in the water Uh, 
we don't really get winter problems from that and we can probably go on land what month is it December so as you remember I am playing 12 turns per year and also I have the what's it called more meaningful seasons I think some of these somewhere replenishment construction cost morale to armies movement range growth um, yeah even food reserves so that's uh, all the, those effects some of those effects are, are there from before uh, but you see it gives us industrial buildings wealth and takes away um, food and agricultural construction costs cost more because it's probably tougher to build a farm in the winter all right mister uh, you're gonna take some attrition aren't you so oh okay let's just wait another turn you guys let's just look we're gonna get Burgundian guard to replace the Germanic nobles if I go to that um, Germanic spearmen to replace the levy siege uh, medium siege that's good and recruitment cost per unit I think we're gonna replace our spearmen first uh, though it's probably time to do some civic technologies too so let's let's go for the civic one those are those are easy it'll give us some stuff hopefully make more money here yeah wealth from agriculture wealth from as construction cost and this is from culture building so we're gonna kind of sucks but we're gonna stick to the levy for a second uh, I one thing I didn't get and I might looks like I can upgrade the ships from a regular snack shell long ship to I guess just marauders instead of I don't know I think we we did something there <laughs> All right, you don't have to force march, man. There you go. Mercenaries. Right. Um, I don't know if we need any of any of ships anymore. Or right, right now. So let's see if I don't think I don't think January is going to give us uh less of an attrition time but we're just gonna go through a couple of turns here we don't want to destroy our units on the way to the region capital there I shouldn't have to worry about those guys those guys are friendly uh, if you are watching this please do comment down below let me know what you think let me know uh, what color pants you're wearing uh, what you had for breakfast, anything. Um, and if you are. All we ask is a small amount of wealth. If you are enjoying my content, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. Commenting, hitting the like button helps my videos gain more uh, popularity from others that haven't seen my channel yet. So, uh, looks like this is where all that mess is happening. The Rugians are f are fighting. Oh. Well, so the armies of the Rugians are there. You guys can see. There they are, dragon slayers, and the Blood Oath, and <laughs> they're fighting our friends, the Geats and the Danes. And we are gonna take out their capital, just like that. Looks like. January is spring, so let's go into, yeah, 
This is probably going to make them run out of the Dane territory and declare war on us. But Sick friend, and let us talk, and let us have good wine until we can talk no more. It's just the way it's gonna be. If you come at us, um, oh my goodness, I can out resolve. But let's uh, continue Let siege. And I mean, we're being, we're being, we're being uh, pretty big bastards by doing this. Uh, but um, yeah, we're, we're just gonna. We're just gonna not auto resolve because we can't. So we have to make uh, some light siege towers and some ladders. And maybe do ladders first and then light siege towers. And we're gonna continue. Continue that. And we're gonna sort of bring. Gonna bring these guys across to help. Um Your orders? Yeah. And if you guys remembered we went through part of the story of Ebor. Uh the lay of Ebor and we got um Ebor Helen of Godan available as a general. He's got massive authority cunning and zeal and um, I think he's even got replenishment so we're gonna raise an army with this guy it doesn't cost anything to do that with with him so he's gonna be at Rugian and we probably don't need to get very many units here but yeah let's get we need good fighters. one of each it'll make our income go down a bit and maybe now we can have uh, let's see he was unable to seek wife um, he's still trying for Jebica, that's the person he was trying for before and he failed. Uh, this, this guy is gonna try to seek wife, Gunther. And... He is... I'm confused. If I click on this guy... His retainer to another character. I don't know why it says Gunther because. Oh, I see. That's just his name. That's the name of this guy. He's not seeking the wife named Gunther. That's just his name. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Same with him. His. Yeah. Alright. Um, I wanna get. Oh man, she's six. I want to get him in our family. Uh, but for now, let's make him an elder. Or even... Can he even be up here? He can be like a high judge, huh? No? No, he can't be anywhere. I just didn't even click on him. That's stupid. Alright. So never mind. I thought I maybe I have. Uh, I was confusing this with my other playthrough where I have plenty of ladies sitting around waiting for someone to marry, and they don't have anyone to marry. So uh, now let's see the reaction of the Rugians. Will they pull their armies back, or will they just sit up there? They're probably forced to sit up there, um, unless all the Danes leave. Interesting. Hmm. Come on, Danes. Why did you go up? 
Okay, so they're crossing. Running away. I wonder if they're gonna come down. Imperium. I can have more spies, more armies, and so on. Yeah, I can take her hand. This bride seems suitable. Will her intended accept the choice you have made for him? Uncanny. Influence and cunning. Take her hand. Alright, we have a marriage. Now make babies. Seriously. Um. Let's cancel this action. I don't know if that does anything. And maybe get him to do something else. I mean, he's our heir. I'm not sure why. Um. Not sure why I made him a. Um. What was it? Was it even called? Retainer to his younger brother. I was like, look, that guy has a beard, and you don't. Uh, <laughs> go be his retainer. That's that's what it takes. Have you a beard? No. Then grow one. Uh. Alright, let's bring these guys next to our other army. So then we have... On the move, lads. Come on. So you're gonna be coming right from behind. And, um. I'm gonna save my money, I'd say. Our income went down because of all this recruiting. So, hopefully, once we get that town, our income will go back up. And. We're actually gonna. Get this here for the more wealth from agriculture. As the turn ends. Let's hope we can get into this this fight uh, before they get too many reinforcements back. That's right, the Danes are fighting the Geats. And they're not doing so good. Looks like the Geats have the upper hand but we are friendly to both of them so I'm not gonna worry about it too much I wish I knew what the armies of the Rugians are doing matter of state Gunther gained a rank uh, epic poet for Gunther and ready for duty. Gazelle her. Gazelle her? Right, you are ready for duty. Okay, let's matter, let's do the matter of state. This very night there will be a quarreling in the Great Hall as our nobles come. Pete in the flighting, do you wish to participate? I think I'm gonna enter myself, hopefully not get killed. Uh, this person gained a rank, he is a governor, so let's give him more construction cost and less corruption. Could have done the food as well. And I believe there's new and new items here for somebody. I think it was just Gunther, but he just automatically gets it since there's not multiple choices. Right. We probably have our letters now so I mean that's a very yeah 
I don't think it's worth for me to fight this. What do you guys think? If I was to auto-resolve... Uh, I'm gonna go for... I have missile superiority, so... Let's just go with that. Decisive victory. I lost a few men. Mostly... Warhounds. <laughs> Some spears. Alright. Uh, we are just going to occupy because the province instability means that... Um, I think that even affects income and, and so on. We can subjugate, but we don't care about that. We just want to occupy. So we killed their governor. Sad story. And uh, let's... Let's give you infantry and more ammo. Is there more? No. Oh, maybe. Versus Barbarian Kingdom is morale. That's okay. Uh, we're going to bring Ebor here. And force march Mr. Gundamar over to Rugion. And our High King, the Wolves of War, will stay where they are. What was the army name here? Storms of the Storm of Blood. I don't know if I like that one, so if you guys have a better name, let me know. I could I could go ahead and give Ebor uh since he's the crazy character I could probably give him the iron wolves like I usually do some uh, in my in my playthroughs I'll have that army up eventually Warriors all. and look at our income you guys and <laughs> we were at 300 and because we took over Gothis Kanza we're back at 12 so let's repair these uh, 400 there 400 there 130. We we'll have to repair them to sort of change them around anyway. We might change the fishing yetis. And we'll have a farm. We have another farm here. We might get rid of the farm. And get like something for sanitation. Yeah, and that's a small city. We need sanitation since we have squalor happening from multiple multiple places. So let's end the turn. Uh, the Rugians are probably coming back here, are they not? Hmm. Which makes me want to get some fleet I haven't done many uh much combat I should say I have two assault ships and a ramming boat that's gonna get that's gonna well, let's see, 150 180 and 180 that's like four five hundred six hundred something Probably not what I want to do, but I'm guessing we're going to need, need going to need those guys. Let's give our High King more ammo and let's give him I don't know, what should we give him? I, I need those, I also need these. Cav units Charge bonus. Hmm. We're gonna go down this way since I do want some authority for my faction leader. All right. Our eye is kind of focused on those Ruyan armies. That's 
one full stack plus a half and a admiral looks like the Danes did something over there <coughs> hopefully the Rugians will go and take some other land and then just be like you know all right I guess we lost our place mm -hmm. nope seem to be coming our way uh, now if we're lucky which we might have to be in the next episode okay so giving good amount of himself the king is proclaimed the victor and presented with a horn of mead which he drinks in a single gulp truly a man to be re respected we have three turns of public order bonus Influence for Jebica and a stout smooth talker. Don't know why I saw that as stout. All those guys are coming our way. Um, what we could attempt is to catch some of them on the water. But they might be in range to help each other out, so I'm not sure. Let's see, maybe we'll catch these guys on the water with our navy dude. Um, let's see, it takes one turn to get them, so they just haven't been recruited yet. Uh, we're gonna go into. We're gonna go here. And we're gonna recruit. And uh, we're making even more money now, so possibly because we fixed our buildings here. With a wicker maker, we can change this into smithy or wood carver for Germanic hunters. Bone carver. The onager is there too. That's a farm, salt deposit. Yes, I already have two farms. Barbed Lancers next there, or Garrison. Wall strength 100%. I don't see why it's still damaged. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the fields. Because we don't need that many. Um, that, that much food anyway. And we're gonna bring in that. Whatever it's called. Taxman. Okay. Unusual conditions. Hmm. Uh, let's attempt again to find a wife. He is 47. But... Um, he needs to find a wife and apparently he doesn't have enough influence to find a wife because it takes 20 so we'll wait for that uh, this guy needs to gain some influence so we're probably gonna bring him I'm gonna bring him here for and set him in like some kind of Protective stance and uh, you will also be needed here. So that's that. So this is setting up to be a fight for sure because those guys are coming back for their city and they shouldn't be able to like walk across at all. So, um, 
We're gonna go over here with this guy. Boat is in range of the town. And everybody's in range of, of the town. So until next time, guys, um, just kind of keep your fingers crossed that we can do okay in this fight. And I'm just going to end this episode here. Um, because I don't want to start, you know, getting into that fight and uh, not be able to finish before I want to finish the episode because the time is pretty much out for how long I want to record. So please do um, share this out with your friends, first of all, if you enjoyed it. And do comment. Let me know what you think so far. The Burgundians are pretty cool. They're uh, skirmishers are very deadly. We haven't seen many fights yet. There was one in the first episode, but it was kind of a quick one, um, so we didn't get many like close-up shots. But we should see some c fighting soon. After we have been a jerk to the Rugians, uh, they're likely to come back and uh, want their city back. So. Uh, that is that. Thank you again for watching and please do come back next time. Have a good day.